So the Anniston Museum of Natural History is actually a part of a bigger complex, complex you could say. We're one big happy family here. We are located at Lagarde Park. We have the Anniston Museum of Natural History, which we've been speaking of. We also have Berman Museum, which features world history and art, and then our Longleaf Botanical Gardens. The Anniston Museum of Natural History's mission is actually to educate um, our public um, with an understanding and appreciation of the natural world. Uh, we do that through our exhibit halls as well as our programming. Um, some of our programming, it's, we always try to stay true to our mission and with those we incorporate our live animals such as this fella here. He is our eastern screech owl, he's a native species. Um, you have the gray morph like him and you also have a red morph. Um, Archimedes has been with us for several years but um, we do have a variety of reptiles, birds of prey and mammals that we use in our programming. Now, not every program includes live animals, but we do specify when they, when they do. Some of our live animals are actually donated to us. This fella, Archimedes, our eastern screech owl, has a different story. He was a wild animal, he still is. Um, for whatever reason, he's decided to be a rock star though, and which is why you see him sitting on my hand. Most of the time, you typically would not see this with a raptor but uh, he's been with us for about 10 years or so and he's always just been really excited and uh, willing to cooperate, you could say. Now, um, his story, he was actually hit by a car. If we can get his attention, you'll look at his face. You'll see that his eye over here is actually blind. That's why his pupil looks very different. Um, he cannot see on this side from the car accident. The other side, he has perfect vision in still. Um, because of that, he was deemed non-releasable by a vet. Now, he will not be on display because he's a little guy. The aviaries you see on our bird of prey trail are actually much larger. You'll see red-tailed hawks, um, barred owls, great horned owls, and a couple of other species um, in order to get an up. And, you know, it is an up close and personal view of these creatures that typically they shy away from us. So it's nice that we have that opportunity. Um, although they have been hurt or injured, you know, we can get that learning experience from them and educate ourselves to assist other raptors. At the Berman Museum we have a few different programmings going on this summer. You want to look for D-Day um, June 6th. It, the programming will be beginning at 10 o'clock. There's a ceremony for all of our veterans or military personnel or anybody interested in coming. Um, please come by. Our Berman Museum will be free that day for the admission. Following the ceremony, we will have cake and um, drinks and such punch. Uh, following the ceremony as a reception and the halls, we want you to explore those. There is a temporary exhibit focused on D-Day called Snapshots of D-Day um, that will be highlighted that day. Sometimes we'll be out in the community. Look for us at the Quintard Mall. We will be there every Tuesday of June and July for Terrific Kid Tuesday. We'll have a 15 minute animal show where you might see critters such as this guy or some of our other friends. Um, we do a quick little show with them. We interact with our guests and our family and hope that you know we encourage you to come out and see what more we have.